Hey, it's Jamin, and in today's Team Gantt tip, we're gonna look at boards, specifically the difference between project boards and custom boards. A Gantt chart is a great way to track your project's big picture within a linear timeline, but in some cases, the order in which the tasks are completed may not be as important to everyone as being able to clearly see a backlog of your tasks and keep track of where those tasks are in a specific set of phases that they need to go through to be completed. That's where boards come in. Kanban boards are great at tracking this type of thing. Let's say, for instance, that your tasks all start in a phase that we'll call to-do. This is your backlog of things that still need to be done. When you're ready to start working on a task, you could move it from to-do into in-progress. And once it's completed, you could move it on to done. Now that's a really simple representation of how boards work in Team Gantt, but here are some of the things that make it more powerful. You may have noticed that the task's completion percentage automatically went up when we moved it through each phase. That's because you can assign completion percentages to each column. So when a task moves to the next phase, it's automatically updated. It works the same way if you move it back a phase. It's easy to add, rearrange, and collapse columns too. You can also add or edit completion percentages for each column in your board. The fun doesn't stop there, because all of this great information ties back to every other view in your project. If you make a change in one view, it updates everywhere. So if you're a project manager or stakeholder that needs to see how all that work being done in boards affects your beautiful big picture timeline, you can. Instantly. Or, if you're part of a smaller sub-team that really only needs to worry about managing your part of the work in a Kanban board, you can do that too. The best thing is, you can take advantage of the unique benefits of a Gantt chart, like task dependencies, resource management, and drag-and-drop task scheduling, while still being able to incorporate agile workflows. Okay, so now that we've gone over what boards are in Team Gantt, let's talk about the difference between project boards and custom boards. Project boards are pretty straightforward. They're a one-to-one -one representation of a Gantt chart project in a Kanban board. Everything in your Gantt chart is displayed in your board, and everything in your board ties back to your Gantt chart. It's essentially a different way to view and work on your project. And setting them up is easy. From your project, click on the Boards tab, then add your project phases. They'll show up as columns in your board. We'll stick with To Do, In Progress, and Done. Click Next. Now, if you'd like, Add completion percentages to your board columns. You don't have to do this if you don't want your task completion percentages to automatically update when you move them across the board. But if you do, this is where you set this up. We'll go with zero for to-do, 50% for in-progress, and 100% for done. Click Finish and Create Board. And that's it. Now you can move your columns across the board and see them update. You can also click Back to Gantt View to see that everything is updated there as well. Easy peasy. The purpose of custom boards is to manage one board of tasks that comes from multiple projects. Let's say, for instance, that you work on a QA team that manages QA work on all of your company's in-development projects. Well, you can create a custom board for that. Just mouse over the side menu and click on the plus icon next to custom boards. Then, name and create your board. Next, name your columns and you've got your custom board. Before you start searching for tasks to populate your board, you may want to set some filters. You can filter by people, labels, projects, statuses, or colors. Let's say that your team is working on these three projects. Now, only tasks that are part of those projects are displayed. You can still search for a task by name, or you can scroll and start dragging tasks from these projects into your board. Now you can manage your team's work from all three projects in one board. If you set up percent complete in your columns, it will work in custom boards too. Automatically updating completion percentages and sending that info back to the tasks project as well. The last big difference between project boards and custom boards is that project boards will automatically invite anyone who's already included in your project, 
With custom boards, you have to invite people manually, but it's easy. Just click on the Invite People button, and then invite them in the same way you would to your Gantt chart projects. You can search for the name of anyone in your account, and if you don't find them, create a new contact and invite them. Boards are available on all standard and advanced plans. To learn more about the ways that Team Gantt can help you manage your project with boards, go to teamgantt.com support.